co-terminal angles. Okay, co-terminal angles. So let's just break down this word really quickly. Uh, co usually means the same. Okay, co means the same, like co-captains or something like that, like they share it. Okay, uh, terminal means the ending, where you end up. So co-terminal angles means you end up in the same place. Now, that doesn't really make much sense right now, but let's talk about this first. The standard position of an angle in the coordinate plane. Now, when we've been dealing with angles, we've been dealing with them in geometric figures, in triangles, in circles, in quadrilaterals. They're just kind of floating around in free space. But what we're going to do with them now is we're going to put them in the coordinate plane on the x, y axis. And here's how we're always going to measure them. We are always going to start on the positive x axis. This is always the starting point. Always, always, always. Okay, this is always the starting point. This is the positive x axis. So label your picture along with me here. Positive angles. So yesterday when you were converting these code, uh, the um, converting between degrees and radians, some of them were negative. And I told you that we would find out later how you can have a negative angle. Well, we're going to start with positive angles. We start on the positive x axis and we rotate counterclockwise to the terminal side. So we start right here and we go counterclockwise until we get to the, we call that the terminal side of the angle where the angle stops. <coughs> Bless you. Okay, and that is a positive angle when we go counterclockwise. So I'm going to say that's about a 140 degree angle. Okay, that would be the positive uh, measure of this angle. We can also measure it using negative angles. We still start in the same place, but we go in the clockwise direction. So we start here and we go clockwise. We end up in the same place. Uh, so this would be negative 220 degrees. Now the reason why I know it's negative 220 is because those two angles together, let me draw that line a little bit better so you can see what I'm getting ready to say. Those two angles together make up a full rotation or a full circle. See how I connected the arcs there? So if the other one's 140, then we've got 220 degrees to go in this direction but it's in the negative direction because we went clockwise. Okay, so it's the same angle. I ended up in the exact same place. It was just one way I was going in the positive direction, one way I was going in the negative direction. It's kind of like, you know, you have different names for people. Like some people call me Miss Redmond, some people call me Coach Red. I'm still the same person, it's just a different way of referring to me. It's the same thing with these angles. They're still the same angle, it's just a different way of referring to it. So we call these co-terminal angles. They have the same initial and terminal side, but they have different measures, typically positive and negative. But we can, I have another note, that angles can have measures greater than 360. You're probably thinking, well, how is that possible? Well, let me show you. We can use more than one rotation. Okay, so what that means is if I start here, I can go all the way around 360 degrees, and then I can end up on that angle. So I've gone 360 degrees and then an additional 140 degrees. So another coterminal angle for this same angle could be 500 degrees. Because I went all the way around and then ended up where my angle was. I could do the same thing in the negative direction. I just don't want to put too much on my picture. Um, but we could, let's see, what would that be? Negative 580. Negative 580 would be a negative coterminal angle that's more than one rotation. I just didn't want to put too much on my picture. If I went all the way around clockwise and then ended up on the same angle, okay? 
those four angles, even though the measures are very, very different from each other, are still describing this same angle that's pictured right here. Okay? All right, now, you may say, well, what do we need to know this for? Well, think about the real world. When things are rotating, very rarely do they just rotate one time and stop. Most things that rotate, rotate multiple times. So we've got to be able to talk about these uh, angles that are greater than 360 degrees. Okay? So let's go through the process of just finding coterminal angles without drawing them. Okay? We're just going to say if this is our angle, what's the coterminal angle? Um, so for this first one, it says for each positive angle, find two negative coterminal angles. So if we've got to find negative, probably means we need to subtract. So we are going to subtract 360 degrees from our angle. So that gives us negative 10 degrees. So that's one negative coterminal angle. And then we're going to subtract 360 again to get negative 370 degrees. That is a second negative coterminal angle. We could keep going. You can do this infinitely many times. You can keep subtracting 360 and you're going to keep getting negative coterminal angles, but the problem just asks for two. Now, when we do radians, the process is just a little bit different. Um, how many radians are equal to 360 degrees? Two pi. Okay, that's what we learned yesterday. Two pi radians are equal to 360 degrees. Well, you don't want to type the pi into your calculator because your calculator is going to multiply it out and then it's not going to turn it back into a fraction. So what you need to do is you need to drop the pi from uh, your angle for what you're going to type into the calculator. So you drop the pi, so we're just going to take 8 over 7 and we're going to subtract 2 and go ahead and turn it into a fraction because it's always going to need to be turned into a fraction. So I just go ahead and do that one time. Okay, so 8 over 7 minus 2 turned into a fraction is negative 6 over 7. I'm going to stick the pi back on there for my negative coterminal angle. And then I'm going to subtract 2 again to get another negative coterminal angle. Make sure I turn it into a fraction. So negative 20 pi over 7 is another negative coterminal angle. So I give you a little space right there to write down some instructions when you go back uh, to find these negative coterminal angles. We want to subtract 360 degrees if it's in degrees or if it's in radians, drop the pi, subtract 2, Turn it to a fraction and uh, write pi in the numerator of your answer. Okay, some of you, well, most of you need something to look back on when you're trying to remember this stuff later on. So write down those instructions so you know what we do to find these negative coterminal angles. Subtract 360 if it's in degrees. If it's in radians, drop the pi, subtract 2, turn it to a fraction, write pi in the numerator of your answer. So if we subtracted to find the negative coterminal angles, what do you think we're going to do to find the positive coterminal angles? Add negative, how do you make positive? So, we're just going to do the opposite thing here. We're going to add 2 or we're going to add 360 degrees, depending on whether we've got degrees or radians. So, the first example that I gave you is radians. Okay, negative 5 pi over 3. So, same process. We're going to drop the pi, so which is negative 5 over 3. We're going to add 2. Negative 5 thirds plus 2, turn it to a fraction, 
one third. So that gives us one pi over three. Now typically we don't write the one in our answer, but it's okay. Okay, and then we're gonna do it again. We're gonna add two again. Fraction seven thirds. So seven pi over three is another positive cosine. Okay. okay, degrees. Degrees is the easier one. Add three sixty. Okay, negative two sixty five plus three sixty is ninety five degrees. That's one. Add 360 again. 455. So I'm just going to write add under those instructions because the instructions are the same. Okay, it's just you're adding instead of subtracting. All right. Questions so far. Now that's all you have on your paper. I've got a couple more examples that I want to show you. Okay. Um, these instructions say find a positive and a negative coterminal angle. They find a positive and a negative coterminal angle. So if you want to put this in some of the blank space there on your paper, or if you want to work on another sheet of paper. Whatever you want to do, I just had a few additional examples and I don't want to use an entire sheet of paper on it. So let's find a positive and a negative coterminal angle. Alright, so each time we're either going to have to add, uh, add and subtract. Okay, so doesn't matter which one you want to start with, you want to start with adding or subtracting. Adding. Alright, so when we add 360, we get 390 for a positive coterminal angle. If we subtract 360, we're going to get negative 330 degrees. Okay, so let's start with negative 450. When we add 360, what do we get? Negative what? Negative 90. Well, I just added. Should not be positive. Usually, okay, but negative 450 degrees is more than 360 degrees. It's more than one rotation. So when we add, we are going to get another negative angle. But then when we add 360 to that, we're finally going to get that positive angle. So what do we get when we add 360? 270 degrees. Okay. So in this case, we had to add twice to get both the negative and the positive. That happens sometimes. How about 22 pi over 3? <clears throat> what do you think we need to do first? Do you want to add or subtract? What do y'all want to do? Subtract? Okay. Let's subtract 2. Okay. 22 minus 3. Or excuse me, 22 over 3 minus 2. That gives me 16 over 3. So I subtracted and I'm still positive. Okay, so let's do it again. Minus 2. I subtracted 2. I'm still positive. Let's do it again. I'm still positive. 4 pi over 3. Do it again. Finally got a negative. After like what the fourth time of subtracting, we finally got a negative coterminal angle. So here, here's my point in showing you this example. <clears throat> this one had three possible positive coterminal angles. Well, it has more than three. Okay, but in the process of getting to a negative coterminal angle, we got three positive coterminal angles, and we didn't even add two at all um, to, to get a positive, okay? So if it's a really big angle, 22 pi over 3 is a very big angle. It's, it's what? One, two, three. It's over three rotations, okay, around. Um, so you're going to have to subtract or add multiple times sometimes. 
to get to.